I'm going to speed run the intermediate bots on chess.com. I will try to crush them as quickly as possible while explaining every single move. The timer is here and it's starting right now. Let's go. I'll play e4 going for the center. The best move. Okay, now we go out with the knight attacking the central pawn. We go with the bishop here. We play the Spanish. Will they attack the bishop? Okay, we want to keep the bishop in open positions. So we just go to castle. There is a free pawn here, but this uh, is not a big problem. Now we protect the pawn because once black is going to take... What is this move? Once black is going to take this pawn, we are going to take the pawn on e5. And now this is a free piece that we are very happy to take. <laughs> Remember, always take your free pieces. Okay, let's get started. And now we have to complete the development as quickly as possible. I was like uh, forgetting that uh, my opponent made a move. Now I will go with the move d4. After pawn takes, I'm taking back. Okay, pawn is not taking. We have another free pawn. But let's rather push, kick this knight and then going... Oh, we take another free piece. Now we just have to bring the queen towards this side. We take here with the knight and then we are going to bring the queen to the attack. Okay. This is an annoying move because we have to go backwards. Okay, we'll go back here protecting this pawn as well. Now they are taking. Let's bring the queen towards the attack. Not sure how we are going to give mates, but we, are, we need to bring all the pieces. Let's go with the knight here. And maybe we bring the knight towards those squares. I like it. Look at this knight jump. The knight was a few moves ago here. Now he's already ready to attack the king. And we bring the knight here. We are threatening a royal fork. This is uh, amazing. We gave it. And now we take here. And then we push here because I want to give mate, guys. And now we give a check. Where is the king going? Okay, we bring the bishop helping us to give mate. And now we take this pawn. Going for the checkmate on h7. And we sacrifice a knight. Look at this. There is a knight that is a free cheese macaroni. And now we give a check. This is a very common technique that I missed because it's not mate. I thought this bishop... I thought I had check, check and mate. Oops. Okay, so <laughs> let's go away here and then we say there I, I i made a mistake because i thought i had made but there is this bishop protecting the spawn so now i don't really have it but i need to there is no time already two minutes have passed by okay but now i'm giving mate here there is a final check that you can give not even a check and ggs <laughs> maxime for the next game Okay, we control the center. Every time your opponent is not going for the center, you control it. Now there is a pawn under attack, so we are going to protect it with the knight. Okay, we develop the knights. Always first the knights and then the bishops. Now my knights are out, my bishops are out. And always remember there is an F. Don't move the same piece in the opening. Now I go for the center because I can get space. I'm even going to take there, actually going to play first this move, attacking the queen, winning a tempo. Every time you attack with a piece of less value, a piece of higher value, you win a tempo. Now, I'm going to take there a free pawn, and after pawn takes, I'm going to take with the knight. So my opponent is just pushing. I'm going to take here one more time. And then we might just castle. I want to push here at the right moment. Okay, now look at this. There is a queen and the... Okay, the king and the queen on the same file. So we go with the rook. And those are like... Um, yeah, lost. <laughs> now this uh, bishop is also in big trouble. Guys, I'm setting up a nice checkmate. Oh no, my bishop. Oh no, my bishop. Ooh, look at this. I sacrifice the queen. Because now the bishop is forced to take and we remove checkmate. Next bot is Hans, Hans Niemann. Look at this. Okay, we go with e4, e5, another Tausen player, and he's playing the Vienna system. Will he go on with the move f4? Not really. So every time you have the opportunity, go for the center, pushing two pawns. Now we take back with the knight, and if the knight takes, we take back with the queen. Okay, now there are two pieces attacking this knight, so we have to do something. I will rather protect instead of trading. Let's see, okay, Hans is playing really well. Uh, developing this pawn, uh, this knight, sorry. Now we have developed all the pieces and Hans is already going out with the queen. Will they take here? Is a free pawn again. Okay, they're just attacking this bishop, so we move it back. 
And now we might go, ooh, moving, why, why not castling? Why not castling? It would be so much better. Okay, we are attacking the knight, taking some space in the center. Now this knight is attacking the bishop, so we have to go here, protecting it. And this pawn move is nonsense. Now we are going to attack the knight that is protecting this other knight, so we are winning a piece. And we are not just winning a piece, because we are... Ooh, if I take here, actually, this is hanging. Okay, let's first bring the rook in to protect this bishop, and then we are going to take. Now there is a free piece. The only thing that can be played is a discovery check that is not even played. We go with the knight! Always move forward with your pieces. Um, there is a free queen that we can grab. Great. So we move this knight away. I want to take this pawn. We give a check. The king is left with really few squares. But it's tough to find a mate. By the way, I let my opponent trap this bishop. Shouldn't have that let it happen, but that's a matter. We, we'll, we'll go for the checkmate. Okay, they don't even take it. I'll give a check here. Okay, take back with the pawn. And then I'm bringing the knight. Now this king has... Always when you're looking for a checkmate, you have to monitor how many squares is the king having. Now the king has so many squares around, but I have to get closer with my pieces. So I will play... Uh, I will bring the rook here. Now I'm controlling those two squares. And then I will bring the rook here, protecting this knight and maybe sneaking here. Okay, let's go. I'm trying to sneak in. Oh, not so easy. I will also help get the help of the pawn here to get closer. Now I have a nice discovery check. And if the king goes here, it's mate. Let's go. Okay, this were the 100 bot, a 1,000 bots. Now we have a 1,100. Let's see if they improve. This is a very weird opening. Go with the pawns in the center of the board like I'm doing. And whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this opening? This is the Saragossa opening. I think Magnus Carson played it sometimes. But the opening that Magnus plays are not always the best opening. Because Magnus is not just the greatest chess player of all time, but also, he's also the greatest troll of all time. Meaning that if he's playing against you, he might most probably play a bad opening just to give you a chance. And to troll you even more. So I'm developing all my pieces. If my opponent would have taken back, if Aziz um, would have taken back with the queen, I would have enjoyed that. Now the bishop is spinning my knight. I need to keep developing my pieces. And I'm already looking some amazing tactics here. The knight shouldn't go towards the side of the board, but what was this knight doing on f3 where the other knight wants to go? Okay, we just castle because it's good to put the king to security. And now there is a very nice move. This pin is really annoying. We have developed all the pieces so we can improve our position. So we move the queen here. We still protect the knight with the queen. So if the bishop takes, we don't have to take back with the pawn destroying our king side. But we are getting rid of the pin. Now the queen is under attack so we move it just one step backwards. Uh, we don't have to keep this knight protected anymore and now we go forward with the knight attacking the most vulnerable point on f2. Should we trade? We should be careful because uh, first of all there was a fork that was threatened and secondly uh, there was a possibility of a check made on h7. Now I have an amazing discovery check. I can bring my knight here. I'm attacking this rook. I'm attacking this bishop, but I'm attacking the queen. And Aziz, I hope I don't mispronounce your name. I will probably uh, mispronounce it, but doesn't matter. I will now go back with the bishop. I'm not sure about this move. But hey, I should kick this knight. Trades are good for me. Okay, you don't want to trade. Let's bring the rook to the party. Maybe I can sacrifice at some point here on e3. Mm, how do I activate my pieces? Let's go with f5. I want to push f4 so my rooks are enjoying their time here. There we go. Now I can sacrifice the rook. There we go. Because after pawn takes, I'm going to give a nice discovery check. Bang. I'm giving a check to the king and also attacking this little rook. And we are going to take it. If this is too fast for you guys, just watch it in a uh, half speed or lower speed, whatever. Uh, I can threaten a nice checkmate. Ooh, which is not a checkmate. I thought it was the kiss of, uh, the kiss of death, but I blundered that. <laughs> There is a bishop protecting. But now you know what he will play? He will take here. Or maybe not. Now you will take there. Take my knight. 
Okay, not really, but now I take your bishop, which was the only piece protecting the mate. And 3, 2, 1, boom! It was a fun game. Laura! Okay, let's go. She likes Trudy Polgar. I've played her with against new Laura recently. Uh, she's a good player, but she blunders the queen way too often. Okay, she's going for the scotch game. Usually you take back. And now I just develop my pieces. I'm attacking this pawn. Wow, Laura knows some theory here. Okay, I'm going to take back this knight. Wow, this is all theory. Grandmaster level. Laura is a secret with a master. She watched all the games of Judith Polgar. So now this pawn was pinned. My knight was currently hanging, but there is a king exposed. But now this knight can be captured by the pawn, so I have to move it. And the main move here is to play the move c4, getting some space, attacking the knight one more time. And now again, I exploit the pin. This pawn cannot take this knight because the queen behind is hanging. This position is really crazy. I will go with the move long castle, you might say, Alessia, but isn't your king weak there? In theory, yes. In practice, no. Because it's not so easy to attack me. And now I have to find a way to develop the... Okay, so Laura played... 10 moves of theory to then blunder the queen in a terrible way. Great. Now all you need to do is to develop your pieces, trade pieces, or try to give checkmate. Wait, oh my god, this is a, disco a discovery check. I'm giving a check, attacking the rook. And I could take the rook, but look for better, because this is checkmate. Let's go, next bot. Sven, Sven, night out, you play the raid. This is a very solid system. I will go with the pawn in the center, I will bring the knight out, and I want to go with the second pawn in the center of the board. You're going like a robot, well, you are a robot, Sven. <laughs> just um, playing always the same move. I'm just developing my pieces in a very normal way. I have the strong BBC, strong pawns in the center, and now we go with the bishop out, attacking there, maybe. I will also bring the queen and maybe I will go long castle and try to give the quickest checkmate ever. But wait, we have an idea. If Laura missed that, maybe also Sven will blunder it. Okay, Sven didn't blunder. We now go for long castle and we have opposite side castling. When you have opposite side castling, you have to go all in for an attack. Open up the position. So I will try to play the move g5 to trade his pawns. Uh... Oh my god, what are they doing? Okay, this is actually a good move, because after I take, this can be taken. The qu my queen can be captured. So actually, it was a good move. And now I'm taking a pawn. Oh, if I take this pawn, there is this uh, little bishop hanging. So I have to take there. Actually, Sven played really well. Now I'm taking here, attacking the rook. And uh, let's see if you can keep track of the f2 pawn. Mm. Check here. If the knight goes there, it's nearly mate. <laughs> okay, the knight goes there. I'm taking also another pawn. And then I want to bring this knight here. Mm, not really, because it's hanging. So we take here, because if the pawn cannot take, because we take back. And now we go to take also this guy. There we go. And then there are two knights under attack, but they are protecting each other like this. I have plus five points, so the only thing that I could do is to bring the rooks to the game. And then... Okay, there is a bishop attacking here. Let's attack the bishop. If they... This, this, why do they blunder so many pieces? So the only thing that you have to do is do not blunder your pieces, and you will be alright. But now I need to find a checkmate. Ooh! I mean, this is nearly checkmate. The only move is to take there. Because the rook on g1 was not a good piece. Okay, and now I will just promote this pawn. This should be the quickest way. There we go. Let's promote. Let's remove it. There we go. Okay, you take there. And now the, the knight. Oh, look at this. The bishop is controlling the square. The knight is controlling. So I just need a check. I just need a check. How do we do it? Let's go with the rook here. Rook there. Let's try to remove all this. Let's see if it works. Yes! <laughs> there was a bishop hanging, by the way, but uh, Sven was not interested. Let's go. Maria! Ciao, Bella. Okay, you're not really Italian, but you're from Mexico. But there are lots of Maria in Italy. Okay, I will try something different. The Italian... Maybe I will go... Okay, I will play Fried Lever. Let's see how much you know. 
Okay, I take the I take here. Will you take back with the knight? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you just go there. That's interesting. Honestly, this is a move I've never seen. What if I push here? I'm going to attack F7 one more time. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna take here. Maybe with the knight, because I'm attacking the queen and the rook, I'm winning already uh, material. That's perfect. I want a rook in eight moves. I'm giving a check because I'm very happy to trade pieces if you want to. I'm a little bit behind on development. That's why I'm now running to bring out all my pieces. There we go. This move was horrible, disgusting, terrible. Okay, here we have a check and we win a pawn and we bring back the piece that was nearly trapped. Now there is a strong move, but Maria doesn't like strong moves, apparently. Okay, we'll play d4, which is amazing. Attacking the queen, protecting the knight, taking control over the center. This is a free queen. We like it. There is a fork, though, but uh, those bots don't like the queens. This is what we understood. I think we, all of them lost the queen, right? I think all of them. Now, there is a knight under attack, but I go. I go on for the attack. I'm going to counterattack this bishop. And, okay, you move it away. Uh, this was maybe a mistake that I did. <laughs> because now, wait, where is my queen going? Oh, I can't move my queen uh, in a safe square. Okay, I have to sacrifice the knight to give a square to my queen. Queen f3 was an horrible move. Now we slide here, giving a check. The queen is hiding, but we have a check here and we can take. Okay, that was lucky. Now we take this pawn as well. Or maybe not. <laughs> we'll push here. I want to get closer with my pieces. If you want to try to give mate, you have to get closer with the pieces to the king. I don't care about giving away this rook because I just want to give mate. And maybe I will give mate with a pawn if you let me. Okay, I will give mate with a queen. GG's Maria. Thank you so much for the game. It was really a pleasure to beat you. Elena or Yelena or Helena. I don't know. Okay, we develop our knight and we will go again for the Italian. Let's see. Do you go again? Okay. You play the Duoco Piano. I will play the Evans Gambit. This is one of my favorite opening uh, in the Italian system. I will now play C3. I'm sacrificing a pawn with the idea that I want to crush the center with the two pawns. After pawn takes, I'm taking back and I have two monsters there in the middle of the board. And then the idea of this opening is to go with the queen here and attacking the most vulnerable point for black, the f7 pawn. Now, I can simply take there with a check and then I can take here and then I have a check here. I have a check here that I can give. I can also move I can also take here. I'm threatening mate. Maybe let's see if Yelena takes the rook. That would be really bad. Okay. Elena is, is good. Okay. Now we have to develop castle and bring our pieces closer to the king. I'm actually a pawn down in this position, but this king is really weak. There is a rook now that is hanging. We'll give a check first. Where is the king going? Probably just here. Okay, this is a bad move because now the bishop is pinned. Cannot be moved. I'm taking here. And then I will bring the bishop out, attacking this pawn a third time. I'm going to take here a free pawn. This king is feeling e always more and more naked. And now I need to find a mate. Let's go with the bishop here. Or actually here. Hmm... In which diagonal do we keep the bishop? I will keep the bishop on this diagonal because I want to control the squares. The king can run away here, but now I also have a check like this. And there are just a few squares left. Okay, the king can still go there. <laughs> okay, I'll say sorry. <laughs> go back there and now protect this knight. I feel I need to protect the knight. And now we give... Wait, let's go with the rook. Let's just bring the rook to give me. This is the simplest approach. Just bring all your pieces and you will find a nice checkmate. Okay, ready for... Ready for it? 
bang. There was queen g6 that was uh, protecting, but not. Okay, Wilson, it's your moment to cry. I will go for a gambit, a from's gambit. I'm li I'm I'm gifting you pawns, but you're not even going to take them. Okay, so we go for a very quick mate, guys. Bang! <laughs> Wilson, what are you doing? Now you lost a rook. Okay, the queen is under attack, but now I'm giving a check here. And then I'm promoting a new queen and I won a rook in um, really few moves. Let's move this... Um, let's move this pawn. I want to bring this bishop out really quick. Okay, there is a pawn here under attack. Let's just defend it just in case... Okay, maybe d6 was not, was a little bit a tricky move, but whew, we do it, we like it. Mamma mia, Wilson, what are you doing? Wilson, what are you doing? I'm giving you mate, Wilson. Wilson, be careful because this is mate! In 11 moves. That was terrible. No, I don't play again. I play against Jade. 20, 20 minutes on. Okay, we have the Sicilian. What is the quickest way to crush the Sicilian? I don't go for the quickest way, I go for the most fun way. So now we trade the bishop and what I want to do is go for the center but first castle and then go with the move c3 and then d4 and I will remove all this. So I will remove that I go for the center and now she's not even taking. So I will attack this pawn, let's see what she does. And then, okay, free pawn because there is a rook hanging, this is already amazing. Thank you for the free rook. You are very generous. And now I crush the center because I have extra pieces. So it's good to open up the position. What is this horrible move? We take also another pawn. I'm not going to trade the queens. Or maybe I'm going to trade the queens. Because it's going to be mate. If you take the queens, I'm taking also here. Yeah, feel free to, to go for it. I'll give a check. And then we go with the rook here. This is amazing. Now, bishop here is the only move. Now I go with the rook here. I'm attacking the queen. I'm threatening something very, 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 very nice. Checkmate, Jade. Thank you for the game. Nelson! Okay, this guy is bad because they play, he always plays queen h5. So I will give you a chance. I will go with the bishop here. Will you go with the bishop out? <laughs> okay, this guy is... Is a legend, but let's see. Will you take now this pawn? Okay, you don't. I will go with the knight out, and then I will go for the center, and I'm winning a tempo with the queen. Look at this! I'm already winning a piece because I'm attacking the queen, and I'm attacking... Oh my gosh. This is so horrible, Nelson. You're the worst chess player I've ever seen. Now I take this knight. It was the only piece that was protecting the incoming checkmate. Okay, check here, and then I take this. No, I will give just check to you. Oh my gosh, Nelson, you're terrible. 11 moves. 11 moves. Vin. Okay, we go with uh, this. I don't even know what is the final intermediate bot. I should have checked that. <laughs> okay, we go with uh, this moves. Okay, my opponent is playing really solid. This will not be so easy to crush. But let's go for the center as always, developing our pieces. This is very important. We take back and then we are going to castle. Okay, this is a very nice opening idea. You're pinning, but now moving the bishop backwards. This is disgusting. You're attacking my bishop. Congratulations. I'm going to... I'm going to take here. You know, you know why? Because then I'm going with the knight there. And then I'm going with my queen here. If you blunder this, I swear, I'm going to ban you. I'm going to ban you. You should be banned from the chess community. What was that? Okay, I want a piece because, of course, after pawn takes, I'm going to take there. This player is disgusting. Okay, this knight move was not so good because now this can be captured. Now I'm giving a nice discovery check, attack, not a check. Attacking the queen and winning the rook. <laughs> This is so bad. I'm taking gear. And now I will play a very little move. I will take here. I'm sacrificing my knight, but if you take, I mean, I'm giving a discovery check and I'm winning the queen. I think all the bots either got checkmated in 10 moves or they lost the queen very quickly. I will now bring the bishop back here and then give the kiss of death to this king. 
Okay, we go with the queen here. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, no way. Okay, I will have to bring the queen sneak in. Maybe a rook here will be played. Okay, no. Now it's inevitable. Now it's game over. Okay, next bot, David. Is David already an advanced bot? Let me check it out shortly. Computer. Okay, so I have the three, last three bots. Let's go. Let's go. Challenge random colors. I took the white now. <laughs> okay, we go with these pawns uh, at the center of the board. This is a terrible opening, really terrible. But I'm offering a free pawn that you are not taking, of course. I will play this move. Where are you going with the knight? Oh my god. This is so bad. I will go with the knight here. And now I take him passant. Oh, okay. We go with the knight out. And then, I mean, I'm nearly winning a piece here after the move bishop b5 that I'm playing. Because now, oh wait, I blundered. Oh, I blundered a piece. No way. I blundered a piece. I lost a piece, but now I'm attacking the rook. And you castle. Okay, in that case, I'm threatening mates because you never know with those bots. <laughs> but hey, oh my gosh. They are seeing those moves. I will try to open up the files in front of the king. Now we take this pawn. And then we bring... Okay, we take here and we bring the knight. There is really few time. Okay, I'm going to give this... Boom, thanks for playing. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm literally an idiot. Okay, I will go for the two pawns in the center of the board again. But this time I will do a little bit better. I mean, this guy beats me with the wear opening. This is so disgusting. I will go with the knight here, controlling the central square. And then with the other knight here. This is absolutely terrible. I will go... I cannot believe that happened. Okay, I will go with the pawn in the center, taking space. The knight is attacking now this bishop, but I understand that I have to be a little bit more careful. I take back and I lost again a pawn. Yeah, because they don't blunder like blind. They don't blunder everything. They are actually... This is already a better player. Okay, I have to move the rook. I lost a... Pa, 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 pa. Okay, I will go for the mate though. There we go. For the attack. Now this is real. Now this is real. Well, I cannot even give this check. Which is a pity. Hmm. In that case, I have to move my knight away. And maybe I will sacrifice here at the right moment. Okay, let's go with the sacrifice. Because it's fun. Sacrificing the bishop. Then we give a check. We take here. Ah! No. This is so bad. I thought this was the only move. Oh my grub. Okay. I think I have to slow down a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's resign this. This is disgusting. Okay, David, I hate you. I really hate you. But I'll now crush you. Okay? I'll just develop my pieces and ignore whatever you do. I'll just develop, you know? You can do whatever you want. I'm just developing. Now, I'm, I'm attacking your queen. You have to go back to protect this pawn. And now, ah, this is a nice position. Your opening are terrible. But I gave you a nice way to get out of here, of there. Now, easy, simply, all my pieces are developed. Easy peasy. You're nearly getting mated. You're nearly getting mated. I'll just castle. Waiting for your blunder. Will you play g6 at some point? I will play bishop here attacking this pawn great bring the rook to the party also bring the other rook to the party there we go okay you are pushing i have this check but brings nothing so i'll go back here when i trade i'm very happy to trade and to bring my knight here now i'm taking here and then i'm pushing at the center of the board, 
Now, I have to bring the queen here because I want to give this check. You don't have any more the possibility to castle, but you're controlling that square. In this case, I'm going to open up the center because your king is stuck in the middle, so it's good to open up. We bring the rook here, maybe trying to find new ideas. We bring the pawn, trying to be annoying with your king. I'm threatening to give this annoying check here. You're hiding. I'm bringing the knight even closer. I'm real now I'm getting you. I'm getting you. David, this is your last moment. This is a very nice check. You have to take a give away your queen. Now I'm going to push this pawn. Okay, you take you would like to take my rook, but I say no, and I'm pinning this. I give a check and this is GG's. Bad boy, David. Okay, Ali and then we have one last opponent. We are playing against the English opening. It's okay, I wanted to do this under 30 minutes, but hey, it's life. <laughs> I lost two games to David. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, I will play... What will I play? Let's play e4, attacking this knight and now has to move one more time. We need to protect this pawn though. And uh, we can do it just with the queen. Maybe it was a little bit too early to push this pawn. Now I realize, but now it's good. My opponent played just this move because the knight has to move backward. We are very happy to develop this bishop like this. And I cannot move this away. But I will develop my bishop in fianchetto. What is this queen doing? This queen is going to explore some... <laughs> some... some nothing. I'm going to castle short. I know that usually you shouldn't push the pawns in front of your king. But in this situation, it's not a problem at all. Because there is no way that the white pieces can attack. And my opponent is playing not just bad move, but disgusting moves. What is this rook here? What is the rook even doing there? I get upset when I see those moves because they make literally no sense whatsoever. You have to go forward with your pieces. You have to bring your pieces out. And now, yeah, I'm losing a pawn because I'm a genius. It's a sacrifice, guys. I just want to open up the center. <laughs> no, it was not a sacrifice. It was a blunder. But it happens. Now, I want to open up the center because this king is stuck in the middle of the board. And I'm really thinking to sacrifice this knight. And to just take this pawn. And I will do it because I love this. Okay, he's not, he's not giving me the chance. I will play this move and I'm winning a rook. Easy peasy. I take this. And now I just need uh, my pieces to get closer. I'll give... Ah, uh, I love this move because my queen is sneaking in. I take there. That's a free knight. And then my queen is sneaking in, saying hello to the king. Ah! Oh, why do I blunder? Why do I blunder the queen all the time? That was just one idea to, to this move. Oh, damn. Should I resign or should I... Okay, let's try to win with the queen down. Okay, this is a tough position. I am a queen down, but I will try to bring all my activate all my pieces. Okay, let's go with the rook. If I move the rook, they are going to take this pawn. Okay, let's go with the rook here. I want to push here. Now I play bishop there and I'm attacking the queen and this bishop. There is there is this knight that is under attack. Okay, I will try to bring my bishop here. There is a bishop hanging, which I cannot avoid. I want to take the I want to go with the with the check here. I will now bring the two rooks to the party. Let's bring the other rook and then we have to move the king away so we can move the rook. There we go. And I will go with the rook here. Aggression. The only chance to do something here is wait what i missed the mate this is checkmate by sacrificing the rook <laughs> ali 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 i'm the better ali ale ale this is how my sister called me mateo mateo bon dia okay i don't want to okay i just lost to to david actually okay let's go with the same plan this is a sideline i'm not going for the open Sicilian, which is at the third move to play d4, because I want to go to play the move d4 later on, but to be able to take with a pawn. Now there is a pawn attacking my rook, so I protect it, and then I will play c3 and d4. 
there we go. Okay, they are pushing, so I will play knight here. I'm just simply attacking a pawn. You are protecting. I will go with the queen out. And now I'm attacking this pawn one more time. And I think I'm going to take it. Attention here. There could be some very crazy checkmate idea. This is a threat right now. I see it. But I would love to take there at the right moment. But I don't, I cannot, I cannot. So I will move my queen backwards here. I'm attacking a pawn and now I push for the center of the board. If, oh, you're sacrificing the rook. That's so boring, honestly, Matteo. I wanted to give you mate. I had my plan to give you mate. And now you're destroying my plan, my dream. But I have another knight. So I will still try. If you give me a chance. Let's play this move. I want to give a mate with a pawn. <laughs> okay, this is so close to be something so amazing. I'll bring the bishop out. I could have taken there, I know. But I want to give a checkmate as quickly as possible. Now we go with the bishop here. Then we bring the other rook here. And then we are ready to something really, really tasty. I want to go with the knight there, but I don't want to go with the knight there. I will Because I don't want to trade this knight. This knight is helping me to give mate. There we go. There we go. Something really tasty is about to happen. I want to do this, but it's not mate. Okay. Don't worry. Now we are going to have it. I'm attacking the queen. The queen has to move. Move away, little queen. Just get out of here, little queen. I want to give mate. Okay, I'm attacking this queen one more time. Oh, why don't you blunder? <laughs> okay, I should play better because here I was so much obsessed about giving mate that I didn't give mate anymore. Now my opponent wants to trade the queens and if I don't trade the queens, I lose this piece. So I have to trade the queens. That was such an epic fail, honestly. I will go with the knight here. I know there is a bishop hanging, but hey, ooh, maybe we give now mate. Let's go with the bishop here, and then we push this pawn, and then this is waiting. Move the knight, because he's under attack. Okay, you don't move the knight. We take here, we want a knight. Oh, it's so hard to checkmate Matteo. How is this even possible? This is not legal. You shouldn't do, I mean, I think like the, there are, um, how, to pro how do they program those bots? Like, when they go up on on, uh, on level, they just avoid a checkmate in one. They don't get checkmated. But humans are making those mistakes way more often than it seems. Now I'm trading the rooks and then I will remove everything. Okay, now the challenge is to remove everything. I will bring my... Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Let's play first this. And then we take back. Okay, and now I'm going to take all the pawns. And now we take all these pawns. And now we take also this pawn, and then we promote this one. And you are amazing, Matteo. And now I'm also promoting this one. I <laughs> let's hope I don't give stalemate. Check and mate. Thank you for the game, Matteo. It was a real pleasure to play you. If you enjoyed this game, remember to like and subscribe. If not, you will lose your next 100 chess games. At some point, I will try to beat this timer, but that's all for today. Ciao!